Hi, and welcome back to the Mastercraft How-To Series. Uh, episode one, we showed you how easy it was to install these sportsman seats into this Razor. Episode two, we're gonna show you how easy it is to install the Mastercraft harnesses in. Now the harnesses are gonna make you feel so much more safe, so much more sturdy in the vehicle, uh, whether you're on the trails, hitting the dunes, or what have you. These harnesses are a critical piece of keeping yourself safe in these uh, UTVs. Okay, before we get started putting these harnesses in the Razor, I just wanna go over the different harnesses that are available. And this is whether you have a Jeep, a UTV, a Desert Racer, a Pre-Runner, whatever you wanna put harnesses in. Uh, the harnesses are available are a two inch and a three inch. Right here, we've got the three inch. This one's got the sewn in pads. That's an extra option. Um, that's also available on the two inch. The color are black, red, blue, gray, and purple. And then we've got three different type of mounting applications. You've got the bolt-in, you've got the clip-in, and then you've got the wrap-around. Um, we've chosen the bolt-in on this one. We're gonna show you how the bolt-in works on the bottom mounts. And then on the back of this one, we'll show you how that we just, we remove the bolt-in plate and actually it turns into a wrap-around. So if you have any further questions on that, um, go to mastercraftseats.com um, and click on the restraints section uh, on that page and you'll have all your uh, questions answered. So let's get started installing these. Okay, so the first item of business is to go ahead and remove the Mastercraft seats back out of the razor. And what you gotta do is you gotta sneak your hand behind here to uh, toggle that switch up so then we can get the seat out nice and easy. And then next what we're gonna do is we're gonna start removing the stock seat belts. Now the first one we're gonna do is the bolt the mount back here. And what that takes is an 11 16th wrench. Now the first bolt we want to remove is the factory mount here uh, for the bottom of the seat belt. Now to get to that bolt, it's actually behind this molding right here. Now you can take the time to go ahead and pull the molding off and you'll be able to see this bolt real easy. But it doesn't take much just to move this back, get your wrench back here, Okay, so once you remove the nut, the stock mount comes out no problem. Now you're going to want to keep this nut because we're going to use this in the exact same mounting position to put the Mastercraft harnesses in. Next, we'll go ahead and remove the inside one. So next we're going to remove the factory mount on the inside. And what that takes is a 5 8 inch ratchet as well as an end wrench. We'll go ahead and do that. And again, when you're done, go ahead and keep the nut and bolt. I actually like to put it back in its place because we're gonna reuse the exact same mounts when we put the Mastercraft harnesses back in. And the next, we'll go ahead and get this top one done. So to remove the top one, we've got an 11 16 and a 5 8 5 8 on the outside, 11 16 on the inside. All right, now that we've got the last one out, your stock seat belt is ready to be replaced. Okay, now that we've got the whole stock seat belt mount out, it's time to put in the Mastercraft harnesses. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and you know removed the shoulder harnesses from the belt, and we're gonna go ahead and stick these in. So the stock mounts, if you come over here, we're gonna put the right side back on the stock mount here. And then the left side, we're gonna go ahead and come back behind the molding again and use the mount back here to mount the, the left side. And just to make sure, go ahead and when you're, when you're deciding on the right and left side, I always like to have the Mastercraft face forward or right side up. Really doesn't matter either way. If, you, if you'd rather have a right release, go ahead and put on the left side. Left release, go ahead and put on that side. It's really user preference. Okay, so we're going to reuse this bolt, the factory bolt that we pulled out. Grab your bolt-in mount. I like to put it on the outside of the bracket here. Put your washer on and your lock nut. And again, on this side was your 5 8 both ratchet and uh, end wrench to tighten it up. Definitely make sure this is good and tight. And I like to have the, the bolt-in mount 
facing about about three quarters away forward, not all the way up, not all the way forward, because that's going to be the natural arc of the seat belt. And then for the other side, we're going to reuse this mount here. So you're seeing an inside view of, of where it goes on the inside here. And then we have to put the nut on the back side that I showed you have to pull the molding out a little bit. So again, using the, I'm using the 11 16 ratchet on the back side and uh, 5 8 end wrench on the front side. All right, again, just make sure it's good and tight. Um, it is a restraint, so we want to make sure that it does hold you in. Uh, if indeed uh, something does happen where you're, you're going to use these to the fullest extent. That's it. We're done for the lap belt here. Um, we could put the seat in and show you what that looks like, but what we're going to do is we're going to go right up to the harness bar um, and show you how easy it is to snap in these uh, shoulder harness pieces. Okay, so for the shoulder harnesses, uh, Razor's done a great job with this and they'll, they've given you a shoulder harness bar already. You don't have to fab one up, you don't have to buy one from anybody. This thing is ready to go. And as you see, we love to have the restraints right at shoulder level. And if you see from this seat and where the harness bar is, it is right at about shoulder level. So this makes it perfect. Now, as we kind of mentioned in the beginning, the different options of the bolt-in, the clip-in, and the wrap-around. Well, we chose the bolt-in for the bottom. And then for the back here, we're actually going to use a wrap-around. But we're going to show you how easy that is with already having the bolt-in once. The bolt-in, really, the only thing that differs the bolt-in from the wraparound is this bracket right here. So we're just going to remove that. Like so. And then now, this piece right here will wrap around the, the roll bar. We'll do that real quick and show you how that's done. So once we've removed the bolt-in, bracket, all we have to do is it's a simple two-step loop. We're going to go around the back of the harness bar, back up through the bracket here, and down. And that's it. Your harness piece is now installed. And now that you've got that done, that's all we need to do on this side. We'll do the other piece here, and then we'll put the seat in lock them all together and show you what a great package this is. So what we want to do is remove the bolt-in bracket, which means slipping the harness out of here, taking this out, and then it's a simple step here. You go around the back of the harness bar, give yourself some slack, up through the bracket, back down the front side, And that's it. The only thing we'll want to do is you want to make sure that once you do put these together is that they meet up like this. And I'll show you why once we snap this all together. All right. So the last step here, uh, aside from doing the passenger side, is we're going to go ahead and stick the sportsman seat back in and hook it all back up. I've made sure all the belts are out of the way so the installation of the seat is simple. So we just want to install that seat. Knock it down to make sure it's nice and secure. We've gone ahead and pulled your harness strap up through the bottom. Now, you can pull them through the side of the seat. Completely up to you, user preference. You can go over the outside or through the inside. On this one, I just decided to stay on the outside. And then your harness pads, go ahead and flop those over as well. And again, you can see that there's two options. You can go through the belt loop here, or go ahead and go through the headrest cutouts that Mastercraft provides. I'm just going to go through the belt loop. So like I told you before, you're going to want to make sure that these butt up like this, because if you've never had a harness on, what you do is you bring the side over here that doesn't have the belt buckle onto it. You slip it in like this. You bring this side up with the buckle. You're going to put it through here, underneath that, snap that in. Use the Velcro here so it doesn't come undone on, on, on accident. 
and you're ready to go. Now there is a submarine belt slit on all Mastercraft seats and a submarine belt that does come in all Mastercraft packs. If you choose to run one of those, you're just going to have to uh, add an attachment or an attachment point on your razor to go ahead and run that up through. And if you do that, that submarine belt actually fits in between these two slots here. The razor. So we're going to go ahead and do that to the other side and show you what the finished package looks like. All right. So as you can see, I'm all strapped in. Got my Mastercraft harnesses on. I'm in my sportsman's seats. I'm ready to go tear this thing up in the dunes this weekend. Um, just wanted to say thanks for joining us. If you have any questions, uh, there's an 800 number on the Mastercraft site. And please check back with us as we have a lot more stuff to talk about in this how-to series. Well, take it easy. See you next time. Up, I went straight.